Hi, um, so new mirror tool is out, version 2.0 and the first thing uh, I will go over the installation because the I have updated, updated the installation process because some users requested that uh, and so let's go first over that um, so first thing, download the files and extract no, but extract file here so open the folder and Mm, first thing, uh, be sure to check the empty installation, which will uh, guide you to the installation uh, where you uh, have to copy-paste the uh, files. So, first thing, you have to go into the documents, right? Classic uh, path for Maya, 216, prefs and icons, okay. And we have to copy-paste the mirror icons, copy into the this file so go back uh, again so it's 216 uh, and this time uh, in scripts we will copy paste this dot uh, mouse file copy paste and that's it for the uh, copy pasting the file now you can open Maya okay so once we are in Maya uh, go into the empty installation text file, right, and be sure to copy paste this to um, lines of code, right. So we want that to run the script. So open the uh, script editor, general script editor, right. So just copy paste here, select and middle mouse, uh, drag it onto the shelf. And here you can, if you want, um, add the uh, custom shelf icon, which is inside the folder shelf icon open and save all shelves so that's the basically the installation uh, once you run it you should see the uh, the ui so let me quickly go over the the what's new and how to use it uh, the first thing you, you may notice that you have now a few modes of uh, mirroring and uh, basically where the mirror plane is positioned so think of it like presets uh, instead of you manually uh, position the, the mirror plane uh, first one is world and uh, this basically means that uh, it will position the mirror plane on the world ax uh, world origins right if i do so uh, minus x as you can see it position it here on the origin so Basically, that's how it works. If I do the uh, minus Z, as you can see, it's uh, positioned there. Uh, that's how it world uh, works. So next one is object, and this uh, refers to the uh, object uh, uh, positioning of the mirror plane, right? So not in position, uh, not mirroring in the local object space, but positioning of the mirror plane. On object uh, center uh, what this, does it mean is if I do again so we have here uh, minus X for example as you can see it position the mirror plane on the object center right uh, I can show you that if I if I rotate the object right so it's not it will not position in the ob local space right but again it will position it on the world so that's how uh, the object works. Okay. The next one is the pivot, which is uh, basically uh, arbitrary uh, position of the mirror plane. Um, which means that uh, all you have to do uh, is uh, press D key, and then just move move the uh, move it anywhere you want to be uh, the mirror plane to be. Right. So let's say we want to mirror uh, somewhere here and do plus, I want to do plus X, right? Like this. So uh, this is kind of similar to, uh, uh, you can also use it kind of similar to the 3ds Max, I think has the uh, symmetry modifier. And in there, there is an option to uh, mirror based on the selection. So how you can use it here with this tool, if you do, uh, let me just add the divisions, couple of divisions, let's say. And then if I um, if I press D key, right, and then uh, select this uh, middle middle uh, uh, of the pivot, 
then let's say I want to snap it uh, like this to this face uh, vertices and then do a plus or mirroring on the plus X as you can see it's position it uh, there so let's um, let's do another one let's say I want to do um, again go into the uh, edit pressing D key uh, edit pivot mode then let's say I want to snap it on the um, on this edge right and do plus Z so that's how uh, how this works okay now uh, oh, yeah one one more thing again uh, the pivot also it works only on on the uh, uh, only on world uh, mirroring what does this mean is because uh, is uh, as as the previous one the world and uh, object mode uh, if I do like if I rotate the uh, rotate the object right and then let's say I want to uh, if I do let's say like this and then I do plus X you kind of expect like okay it's pivot mode goes uh, in local space where this uh, arrow is, is uh, aiming let's say I want to do plus as you can see it's not quite uh, what you would expect because it uh, mirrors on the world so it does what what is what is uh, meant to do, just not. Uh, <laughs> uh, so it's made to do the world uh, positioning, right? Not uh, not in local. Uh, for that, it's a, uh, a separate mode, which is uh, normals. I also call it normal direction. Uh, this is this one is more flexible, uh, in a way that it can mirror in uh, in any direction you want. Uh, what does this mean? Let's say. Um, uh, let me just have this one here so so let's say in this case i want to mirror this like this and then i want to uh, mirror uh on the this one on the local axis right and how this works again if you press d then you have to uh, choose the plane let's say like this uh where you want to mirror it so in this case it's plus x if i do this as you can see uh, this uh, it will mirror it correctly, right? Uh, see how some, sometimes this this can happen, and um, this is um, just because the the plane is uh, one on top of each other, right? So uh, it kind of can shoot this uh, geometry out sometimes, not not always. So all you, to, all you have to do is just just toggle a little bit this plane, and it's uh, and everything is fine, right? Uh, so normal normal is just press the object right select the object press the D key go to uh, edit mode and then just uh, select the face let's say you where you want to mirror it let's say like this plus usually it's like if if you do like faces it's just plus X always is right so you can do that if if you want to right as you can see so it's doing local uh, local mirroring so it's um you can use it uh, in very different uh, situations like let's say uh, let's say i uh, bevel this part let's say and then um, i want to uh, mirror based on let's say pressing d key and then i selecting this face right and then do plus like this see how sometimes this can happen just a little bit uh, happen so i can keep uh, as you can see Now this is uh, why is this mode also useful because uh, while modeling, uh, let's say uh, you don't always have the uh, correct uh, uh, object positioning, right? If you have like let's say um, object like this, and then you have frozen uh, um, frozen transformations in uh, Maya 
218 and plus or 17 I think you have uh, some of the options to bake pivot uh, but uh, in case you know if I go into object space as you can see the, the it doesn't know where to where you want to uh, mirror the the object right so I still want to mirror on this this axis so in this case this is why uh, normal direction is useful if I press D key right and then I uh, just uh, press on the face uh, in the direction I want to mirror like this so it's uh, pivot is nicely positioned so I want to do in plus uh, X so even though you don't have the transformation of the object correct you can always mirror based on the components like on face uh, where the face normals are facing does this <laughs> if that makes sense right so select object D let's say this one X usually it's X as you can see but uh, but you can do um, other one like, like let's say like this so you want to do not uh, this but on minus Z let's say okay so one while I'm here um, I also added merge uh, a threshold merge these or more threshold so sometimes let's say you want to some you have like this small so you can just uh, drag control and drag to increase this uh, threshold so this is only works uh, to last uh, added mirror right so uh, mirror plane right so if I do another one let's say a plus uh, like this uh, and then if I let's say that do and then increase the threshold as you can see it only does this one not bef some from, from before right so that's another thing useful another thing useful is that if you right click you have some presets so you can do that uh, instead of typing zeros you can just use some of this if you use tiny tiny spaces or just um, control and left click drag on this slider virtual slider to increase it or decrease the uh, threshold um, to uh, clear all the um, clear all the uh, stuff here mirroring uh, where is my outliner you can see some things you have here uh, as usual mirror so just select the object and then apply right so that works just as before um, so what else rotate yes uh, that's another thing uh, rotate now works on uh, if you use it before so uh, if you hold uh, 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 if you hover over the this button will tell you left mouse button it will mirror but if you uh, hold shift plus left mouse button with step rotate uh, for this value so if I do um, world uh, and then do like plus right as you can see that this also can uh, work with the mirror plane which i'll show let's say i, I want to do uh plus let's say uh, okay world then i want to do uh, so i'm selecting mirror plane and not on, on the z so also if i uh, right click you can you have the presets uh, so I can do this to quickly rotate the mirror plane so it's not it doesn't work only on uh, objects but on the mirror plane the, uh, which is mostly why this option is here um, uh, yeah um, also uh, as you notice that before I have uh, if you left click this will toggle this uh, uh, modes right but also instead of uh, searching uh, where this uh, uh, mode is uh, you can right click and have like a quick mode like with um, with um, uh, marking menus right so world object center pivot and normal normal direction so this you can use just to quickly without seeing just like marking menus like quickly just toggle them like this if you want so if I do uh, let's say let's say let's say um, let's say I want to do a uh, uh, normal position so just do this right and plus see how sometimes this can happen uh, because they are exactly one top of each other just touch it a little bit and it's, um, it will disappear 
right? So it doesn't happen always, but sometimes can happen. And I think this is it for the uh, what's new in this version. I think it is. Yep. Okay. Hopefully this was uh, helpful, <laughs> and you find the mirror tool version two uh, useful in your workflow, modeling workflow. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>